Good afternoon. It's certainly my pleasure uh, to be here with you to welcome uh, this great convention to the city of Buffalo, the New York State chapter of the American Political Items Collectors. And it's great to know that you will be here next year in 2010 and that you'll host your 25th annual convention right here in the city of Buffalo. In just a few short months, collectors, historians, and interested citizens from across the country will gather here at the Hyatt Regency for a massive show and sale of thousands of political artifacts and collectibles. I'm certainly pleased to uh, welcome you all today, but also I'll be even more excited to welcome all of your guests next year, and I'm confident that our city's strong historical significance and connections uh, as you heard, to four U.S. presidents and the nation's youngest first lady will make Buffalo an ideal location for you to celebrate our nation's political heritage. I also want to thank the APIC members and convention co-chairs, Bren Price and Mark Evans, for the work that you have done to bring this national convention to Buffalo. That we are so excited and the members of our national organization are so excited about coming to Buffalo. We have so much to offer. Uh, it's just a perfect site with all the historians and the collectors and the political buffs that will be coming here. There's so much to see and so much to do. As Drew said, we have 1,200 of our members that live within 500 miles of Buffalo, and we have every reason to expect a good percentage of them are going to come. Um, in fact, we're guaranteeing a free night at the Hyatt if it snows. <laughs> in August, <laughs> with what we have to offer in Buffalo, we think that this show will be larger than the shows that we've had, our national conventions that we've had recently in Las Vegas, in Orlando, in St. Louis, in Kansas City, in Seattle, in San Diego, and we think we're going to beat all of those because of the logistics and what we have to offer here in Buffalo. Uh, we are going to have some wonderful exhibits for the public, uh, starting with mayors of Buffalo. And there are many names in history that you may be familiar with. Jewett, Offerman, Buck, Schwab, Sedita, Brown, very near and dear to my heart, Mrs. Cleveland, Frances Folsom was born on Edward Street. Her house is still standing. She was our youngest First Lady, married in the White House at age 21. Grover was 49, so it was kind of a big deal back then. And she was so popular back then. She was the first young First Lady. She was as popular then as Princess Diana was in our time. Well, they had a child named Ruth. The press immediately dubbed her Baby Ruth. And a few years later, the candy bar was named after her. Grover Cleveland's daughter, not Babe Ruth, the baseball player. We will have 1,700 square feet of exhibit space. Those things will not be for sale. But we will have 180 some tables of collector dealers who will be buying, selling, and trading among themselves and the general public. And I might also add that we encourage people who have collections or individual items to bring them in for an appraisal, a free appraisal. And if they would like to sell those items, we will do an on-site auction immediately. The amazing thing about political collecting is that, uh, first of all, for most candidates, there are over a thousand different presidential buttons. For example, Nixon, there's several thousand different. You can buy Nixon buttons for 10 cents, or you can buy Nixon buttons for $5,000. And the trick is knowing which is which. The value of brown buttons? <laughs> Priceless. <laughs> That's very good. Play your, play your card.